Okay, we are going to start working on the Chapter 2 lesson. Chapter 2 begins on 2-6. First, we need to make sure to update our Assets folder for Chapter 2. We will be using the Striped Umbrella website that we created in Chapter 1. And recall that the local root folder for Striped Umbrella is saved into our Chapter 1 folder. So I've navigated to chapter, well I will navigate to chapter 2, and I'm simply just going to copy the assets folder again, and I'm going to go back to chapter 1, and I'm going to go back to my striped umbrella, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this again, and it's going to ask if we want to replace, and we're going to replace all, and it just added a few extra files into the assets folder. So now I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver and you're going to go to the files panel in the lower right hand corner and click on your striped umbrellas like I just did. And you should notice then that it opens up your striped umbrella folder. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my index and you can see my index right here. Okay, starting on um, step two, on page two six, we're gonna go up to view on the menu bar and click head content. And you're gonna notice that these three buttons appear. Notice when you hover your mouse over them, it should give you a screen tip. This will be the properties that opens up. This is where you can change the title, and we are going to click on the title icon. You're going to go down to the bottom in the property inspector and click after striped umbrella. And you're going to go ahead and key the text beach resort and spa, Fort Eugene, Florida, and press enter. Go ahead and do that now. Okay. After we've typed it in, if you look up here, you can see where the title of our document has changed. Notice when you see the asterisk here, that means you've made some changes, so let's go ahead and make a quick save. Now on to page 2-7. We are going to insert um, keywords. You're going to go over to the right-hand side. You're going to go to your Files panel. I'm just going to move that down so I can see. And we are going to stay in the common category up here. And you might need to scroll within the insert column and we're looking to head. You're going to click on that and you may need to click the arrow and you're going to select keywords and then you're going to see the dialog box pop up. Then take a look at step three and see the text that is bold. Go ahead and type that in and once you've typed it in go ahead and click OK. Okay, after you typed it in, you can see it here. Click OK. Notice down in the Property Inspector, you can see the keywords. Notice up here, you now see a little key button. We're going to go ahead and turn the page, and we are on page 28. Now we're going to go back over to the Insert panel. We're going to go back to where it says Head. Click the List arrow, and you're going to select Description. This is where the description dialog box pops up. So take a look on um, page 2-8 and look at step 2 and go ahead and type that bold text into the description dialog box. Do that now. Okay, after you typed in the description, press OK. Now look down in the property inspector where it says description and you can see the description that we just typed in. Now we're going to go ahead and go up to the document toolbar and press code. This takes us into code view. Now if you look, you can see where we have the description. You can see the tags for that and then you can see the text that we keyed in. And then you can see keywords and you can also see the keywords that we typed in. We're going to go ahead and go back into design view. And then go back up to view on the menu bar and let's go ahead and click head content and that close out the head content section and let's go ahead and do a quick save and then we're going to be on page 2-9. 
This is going to be setting the page background color. We're going to go ahead and click on modify and we are looking for page properties which res right up at the top. So it opens up the page properties dialog box and we're going to click the background color box to open the color picker. You're going to click the rightmost color in the bottom row which is white. You're going to go ahead and select white, click apply and click OK. The background color of the web page is now white and the black text against the white background provides a nice contrast that makes the text easy to read. Go ahead and do a quick save. Okay, go ahead and we want to position our insertion point directly after want to go home. So click there and press enter and then key the words the striped umbrella. We are on page 212. Okay, after you've keyed the words, press and hold shift and press enter. And what that does is that automatically single spaces there because if we would have just pressed enter it automatically double spaces for us. Okay, go ahead and type in 25 Beachside Drive. And Beachside is going to be one word. You can go ahead and press enter, shift enter again and type in Fort Eugene, Florida the zip code and then do shift enter again and key in the phone number and you'll see the information in bold on step three on page 212. Okay, go ahead and highlight the text that we just keyed in. Make sure the HTML button is selected and with our text highlighted, go ahead and press the italic button and notice how it italicizes our text. Now click the show code view button to view the HTML code. So to do that, you click code and you see right here where it has it selected. EM actually stands for italic and that is the beginning code for italicized right here. And then you can see the ending for it right where my mouse is moving. So let's go ahead and go back into design view and let's turn the page to 214. Now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate, oh, let's first quick save. We're going to navigate um, to our chapter 2 folder and we are going to save it as our spa HTML overriding the existing file and then you can click no to update the links. So let's go to file, open, and I'm going to go back into my Dreamweaver folder, go back to chapter two, and then I'm going to go ahead and open DW2 underscore one. So we have it opened up. I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as, and then I'm going to navigate navigate back into the Dreamweaver folder, chapter one, striped umbrella, and then I'm going to select my spa.html. You can see it up here. We're going to click save and we want to replace and then it says update links. We're going to say no. So we just did that. We're going to make sure we select our striped umbrella banner and we're just going to make sure that the link is correct. Okay, if by chance your links are broken, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my striped umbrella banner is selected. Go down to the property inspector, you're going to see SRC, which stands for source. Then you're going to move over to the little circle, which is the point to file. You're going to click and drag it over to your final files panel. And this is going to be the SU underscore banner and click it. And then if it was broken, you should now see the image. We're going to do the same with the C spa just to make sure it is linked to the image in our assets folder. Now we're going to go ahead and do a quick save. 
And now we're going to move on to page 2-15 and we're going to import text. We're going to import text using a Word document and to do this, let's go ahead and make sure that our insertion point is to the right of the SPA graphic, so right where it's at right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a Word document and we're going to copy and paste the text into our web page. So let's go ahead and click on the Finder. Let's go ahead and navigate to our web design folder. Okay, we're going to go into Dreamweaver Chapter 2 and go ahead and open the SPA doc. And when you double click on it, it should start to open up Microsoft Word for us. And once we get into Word that you see here, go ahead and we're going to highlight the entire text. We're going to wait a second because I have the spinning wheel of death at the moment. Okay, there we go. I'm going to highlight all of the text. Make sure you get it all. And we are going to copy it. There's two ways to copy. You can do Command C or you can right click, select copy. Now we're going to go back into Dreamweaver and make sure you have your, or your insertion point to the right of the picture. Now you're going to right click and paste in the text and you can see that it is now in our document. Okay, let's go on up to commands and then you're going to select clean up word HTML and go ahead and make sure you are in the basic tab and all the check marks are selected and then click OK. And then it says clean up word results in one empty paragraph removed. Go ahead and click OK and do a quick save. So now we're going to go ahead and format some of our text properties. Go ahead and click anywhere in the C Spa Services text. And then we're going to go down to the Property Inspector. Click on Paragraph and go ahead and select Heading 2. You can see that this now applies that heading to the text that we have. Now select the text Messages, Facials, Body, and Treatment. We're going to go ahead and select those and we're going to apply a heading 4. So you can see that it makes some slight changes. We're going to go ahead and click on Split View and you can see right here what it looks like. Now you're going to see the tags for heading 2 are H2. You can see the tags for heading 4 are H4. We're going to go back into Design View. Go ahead and do a quick save. And we're going to place our insertion point again anywhere in the text, the spa, C spa services. And we're going to go to commands. And we're going to go to check spelling. And you're going to notice massage is spelled wrong. So go ahead and select the correct spelling and click change. And if it asks if it's okay, go ahead and click yes. Is spelling complete? Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick save. And this gets us to the end of page 217. And that is where this video is going to stop. The video will pick back up on a different video on page 220. Make sure you have saved.